All right, so last night I'm in bed, I'm half asleep, and I feel like I'm getting hit in the face by, by water. I think maybe one of the kids got one of those high pressure squirt guns. It's my dog Parker peeing in the fan that I sleep by. It's a shock fan. So the pee is kind of like coming out of like 160 miles per hour. And it's, man, that's, I love my dogs. My name is Tom Mabe. I'm in the entertainment business. I own a production company that does everything from artist development, artist management, to making viral videos. I I'm super busy. I travel a lot, but I, you know, I have two kids. I have my son, Josh, uh, he has Tourette syndrome, which is a very interesting in our life. Uh, I got a daughter going through the terrible twos, which is weird, she's 15. And my wife, like me, is a big animal lover. We own five dogs, or should I say they, uh, they own us. This is Annie. I found her outside of a comedy club in Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's why we call her Annie. She's a princess. This is Poppy. I brought him home from a surprise visit we made at the Humane Society in Louisville. He had lived in a cage for two years and had extreme heartworms. Hi. Yeah. I think you may be going home with me. We brought him home in a limousine. He's a good boy. Heartworm? Heartworm. He had heartworm. Not worms. He had one worm. Called heartworm. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, this is Parker. I found him in a parking lot. Parker used to be the man of the house. Top dog. Not anymore. Not since I brought these two dogs home. These are the ladies, Bree and Bailey. Oh my God. They're, they're, they're part Jack Russell Terrier, part monster energy drink. I, I call them the ladies, but they're anything but. No, no. Bailey's loving and appreciative, and you know, I'd probably take her to a, a daddy dog dance if they had one. Bree, I, uh, I'm pretty sure she's pure evil. We've, uh, we've had to call the cops on her twice. She, she's scared that we sleep the doors locked because of Bree. She's scared. Bailey! They pee on my grand piano. They pee on my furniture. They pee on my columns. They're chewing up my new cabinets. They do whatever they want, whenever they want. It's time to bring in an expert. So this is my buddy Rich. He's been... Nice to meet you, Rich. My name is Rich Harden, and my wife and I own a company called Double H Canine Training Academy. He's been training dogs for uh, 20 years. Tell him about what you do, Rich. Well, you know, our company is really set up to try to help people live a better life with their dogs. Uh, you know, our, we teach a lot of basic behaviors, sit down, stay, things like that. But really, when we're going to a situation like this, it's about trying to bring back a little bit of structure to your house so you can get over some of the hurdles that you're struggling with. Sounds like yeah. we need that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need yeah. Too yeah. Tom's human dog communication is completely out of control. The dogs are running the show. <laughs> it's clear that the Mabes love their dogs, but they've been giving them all the wrong signals. These humans need to be trained. I mean, wh where do we start? I don't even know where to start. It's simple. We have to go back to square one because you have five dogs. You have a pack of dogs. Think about how we, we shape behaviors, like say teach the dog to sit. Uh -huh. When we ask the dog to sit, the dog sits and we go, oh, good boy or girl, and we pet him or give him a treat, right? right. So we're reinforcing that behavior. We wanted to show up again, right? Right. Yep, yep. So every time you do that with bad behavior, yep. that bad behavior is going to show up again. That uh, has to stop. Right? That makes so, sense. We, we don't have a chance. Melanie is always reinforcing bad behavior. Those dogs have her wrapped around their little paws. Ah! Did she bite you? She They're spoiled rotten. Oh, it's okay. I know you didn't mean it. Well, Tommy's not any better. He's a total sucker for those dogs. Let me see. Seriously, Annie? I don't think she's feeling too good. Annie, want a treat? So Annie bites you, draws blood, you tell her it's okay. I give her a treat. Oh yeah. We need help. <laughs> <laughs>
lots of, lots of help. Talk, touch, and treat. So if you're talking, mm -hmm. touching, or treating your dog during those moments, yeah. when the dog is like barking or growling at the other yeah. or jumping. Every time, yeah. every yeah. time Parker pees on my pillow, she gives him a treat. And now I don't think that's right. That's not the right, right. thing to that's, do. That's right. right. We're reinforcing bad yeah. behavior. And the dog says, oh, this is who you want me to be. And instead of we saying, mm -mm, no, we don't want you to do that. But we have to communicate a different way. Well, the main thing, what we don't want to do is we don't want to reinforce bad behavior. So if the dog is chewing on the table leg or chewing on the thing, we don't want to go over and touch the dog, right? Like right now. You know? So if the dog is barking at us or being aggressive and we're talking or touching the dog, that's a reward for the dog. You know, we should, the dog should, you wanted them to stop, right? Yeah. Right, because now I'm sitting too close to mom. Yeah. So now we go back to guarding mom again, keeping me away. Oh, that's interesting. Which, that's and then she, she can't even do what she wanted, right? She jumped on you, got her satisfaction. Now she's keeping me away. She's going to bite me. She wrote down. She really likes you down she, deep. Totally. I think she may have issues that are beyond her control. Maybe. Well, kind of you like know, me. Tra kind of like Josh. Remember, talk, touch, and treating is for reinforcing behaviors we like. So if your dog is doing something you don't like, stop petting the dog. This is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take structure and consistency within the Mabe house, uh, and it's going to be a process for him. Coming up on the next How to Train Your Human. Stop. <laughs> How do we stop that? Hey. If I can get the babes to do what we're asking them to do, I know we can make this happen. But it's going to be a battle. This episode of How to Train Your Human is brought to you by Double H Canine and the Hemp Wellness Farm for all your dog's CBD wellness needs.